BoxyCharm is already starting on a bad foot. I got an email from them saying I'm not receiving all the products I was supposed to get. <gasps> Boxy, you're already losing the battle. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing battle of the boxes. We're battling Boxy Lux versus Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So you guys wanna see everything the battle has to offer and who's gonna win, then definitely keep on watching. So if you guys can already tell, I have my fall decorations start going up on my channel. This is the first time I've actually decorated for my channel. Last year, for some reason, I didn't do it, but this year, <laughs> I wanted to go a little bit all out. So I have some little cute fall decorations up right here with my little candle, a little fall wreath with a little bit of Halloween stuff, my bling brushes, and my glam obsession design little thing right here. I did zoom you guys out a bit so you guys can see a little bit more of that, and then obviously I'll zoom you guys back in when I do makeup looks and everything. But today we're just doing about, um, a battle of the boxes of Ipsy versus Boxy Lux. Now, Boxy Lux does have a little bit of advantage over the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus this month because it is a Boxy Lux edition. Now, this little battle of the boxes is a little bit unfair this month because it is Boxy Lux versus Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Now, normally Normally when I do Battle of Boxes, it's just BoxyCharm versus Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Both retail for about $20, $25, and then they both vary over like $100 in value. This month, however, is the Boxy Lux Edition. So I did spend $50 on this box to get nine full-size items retailing over $300 versus Ipsy that I'm still gonna get five full-size items that I think retails over 100. So it's a little bit of a disadvantage for Ipsy. However, here's a little bit of tea spill for you guys. I actually got an email from BoxyCharm yesterday, and this is what the email said. Updates from your Boxy family. Hello, Charmer. It has come to our attention that your September Boxy Lux did not include one of the items that you indicated as your preference. Since we are always working to charm you with an amazing Boxy Charm member experience, we are sending you the item you indicated with your preference, but not in this September Boxy Lux. You can expect it in the next box. In the meantime, we should be loading your account with 500 charms, and it should reflect in your account within five to seven business day. Please enjoy the item that you did not indicate as your preference on us. We love your September Boxy Lux as much as we do. I'm sorry, I don't remember what I indicated that I wanted. So I went back on the um, BoxyCharm spoilers, like my subscription addict, and it like tells you what type of BoxyCharm items you're gonna get. And I looked to see what the items were, and I think I remember what I picked, but I picked this item about a month ago. So I'm not exactly sure what's in here, but since I got that email, I remember watching Teresa's Dead, and she had talked about how she didn't receive any, a product in her box months ago, like for the Boxy Lux that she got months ago, she didn't receive an item. And then I believe she never got the item, or she did, it took a lot longer for her to get Get it it was a big mess for her so I'm kind of like great now I'm not receiving something and I have no idea what I'm not what I'm not getting so it's already like on the losing side for me this month because I didn't receive an item but we shall see I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt maybe I got something that I wanted more who knows but we are going to do battle of the boxes I'm excited this is my favorite video series to film I'm excited for it so let's go ahead and get started zoomed you guys in a little bit I zoomed you guys in just a little bit more just because I felt like I looked so orange on the screen because I was further away I couldn't tell so I was being kind of anal so I zoomed you guys in just a little bit more but let's go ahead and dive on into this I do want to give a quick shout out though to blinged brushes I just got a package in the mail today from Courtney from Bling Brushes. <laughs> Let's see what I got. What? All right, guys. So Courtney was so sweet. She reached out to me after she saw my initial review on Bling Brushes and how much I love the product and how I've been raving about it nonstop all over my Instagram to my YouTube, how much I love my Bling Brushes. So she was so kind enough to send me a rose gold set. She knows how much I'm obsessed with bling brushes, and I did give away the rose gold set to one lucky subscriber. Oh, hello, Jace. You're gonna match. You're gonna match my uh, my theme. Love it. But she was so sweet enough to send me the rose gold set with a really beautiful card. I'm not gonna read inside the card because I know that this is like a personal message from me. But uh, she was so sweet to send me the rose gold set, y'all. I'm so excited. Ah, oh my god. I love these brushes so much. Courtney, if you're watching it, thank you so much. Oh my God, I love her brushes. Ah, now, 
I get to add it to my wonderful collection back here. It's gonna look so good. And then I'm gonna have to go order another brush holder from Glam Obsession Design from Vanessa because she makes such gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. I wanna order one that's gonna be rose gold that matches these brushes, but oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Courtney. But guys, that is not the best part. She knows I'm gonna be hitting 10K at some point on my channel, and she was so sweet enough to send me my rose gold set. But she also sent me a silver set as well, yay! So someone out here gets to, hi. <laughs> You're watching me, it's creepy. So someone out here gets to win this set right here. So yay! She was so sweet enough to send me the silver set right here. This is currently what I have right now, this is what I have been using on my channel nonstop is my silver rose gold brushes that just fell out, but you guys can clearly see how well these are used and abused. I'm obsessed with these. And she was so sweet enough to send me a duplicate set so I can do another giveaway with this. Now I could just do a standalone giveaway, but I wanna include this in my 10K giveaway because I wanna do a big grand giveaway. Now I did have someone reach out to me in my comments saying that instead of doing one big giveaway, I should do like five, I should do 10 smaller giveaways. I could do a smaller giveaway so it gives more people a chance to win. So I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do, but I am gonna throw these bad boys in a box to do a giveaway with as well along with other products. I want to do a big giveaway for you guys. So once I hit 10,000, just know that that is coming. But Courtney, seriously, thank you so much. You have no idea how much this really means to me. But Courtney, thank you so much for this. Now on to what you guys are here for, which is Battle of the Boxes. Dude, I want to do like that, that uh, Mortal Kombat song. But babe, what's that Mortal Kombat thingy? Now it's time for Battle of the Boxes. So this is my boxy. <laughs> This is my Boxy Lux right here and my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, which is a completely destroyed box because shocker, the mailman hates it. All right, so which box should we go into first? I guess we can go in Ipsy first. I tend to go in my Boxy Charm first, but let's go into Ipsy first because it is a smaller box and it's kind of destroyed and they didn't send me an email that said I'm not getting something I asked for. So they're already on the Ips side for me. So we're gonna start by going ahead and digging into Ipsy. Oh my God, I love this series. I have so much fun with unboxings and doing Battle of the Boxes and I don't have enough desk space for all of this and oh, don't be pretty like them, be pretty like you. Cute, 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 cute. All right, so this inside is kind of lackluster, if I'm gonna be real with you. This is how the inside looks, just kind of just thrown in there. But you know what, that's okay, because I usually give out really, really good products. So, we got a little card that says, find your light. So the first product that's in this box is the I Do Care Disco Kitten Illuminating Diamond Peel Off Mask. I have never heard of this brand before. So I hope it's not bad. I never heard of it. Hopefully it's good. It's a luminous, super satisfying peel off formula mask from the I Do Care K Beauty line. Revitalizes skin on all fronts. It moisturizes, calms, exfoliates, and brightens. Diamond powder boosts elasticity while rice bran extracts pack in the antioxidants. And this value is at $23. I've always wanted to try K Beauty Care Line because I know they have such amazing products over there. I mean, God, they have such amazing skin over there. But I've always wanted to try some of their stuff. Uh, okay, that's kind of weird. You open this up and this is on the outside. Normally this is supposed to be inside the product, but let's see. Is it gonna be like a pretty, ooh. I don't know how well you guys can see on camera. But she's so, ooh, 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 gosh. Oh gosh, damn it. Well, she's on my finger. Um, this looks like the Snail Beauty Care that I, products that I actually have. So, wow, it smells amazing though. Am I gonna sparkle like a diamond? I'm gonna shine bright like a diamond here. That smells so good. I am excited to give this a try. I know that it is illuminating. That's why they have this here, duh. Um, I know this says it's illuminating and I'm not really the biggest fan of illuminating products because I do have very oily skin. However, I'm really excited to try this out because it does offer really great benefits that I want to use for my skin, such as foliating, moisturizing, and, and calms. It does brighten the skin. And I do use the um, Cure Cosmetics Barbie Brightening Peel Off Mask. I love that mask. It makes my skin look really fresh and hydrated. And so I'm definitely excited to give this a try. All right, so far it's up. The next product, oh, am I supposed to attempt to say this name? Crap. Ilumias, uh, that name. 
That's the next product, that name right there. Don't know how to say it, but it's Anti-Matter Lipstick in Midnight. Well, it's supposed to be universally flattering, and I'm already wearing a red lip, courtesy of Lunar Beauty in the color Aphrodite. Absolutely love this color, I'm obsessed with it. But this is the product right here. Again, I've never heard of this brand, so I'm kind of like, okay. Um, this is, ooh, she's pretty though. Super pretty, kind of matches actually. Let's swipe her right here. That's a horrible swatch, come on. That's really pretty. I like that, I'm definitely gonna have to give this a try um, to see how it feels when non-drying. So I'm assuming it's gonna stay moist all day so that it definitely will have a transfer occurrence to it and it's probably gonna rub off throughout the day. But I'm excited to give this a try. Like I said, I've never heard of this brand and I am open to trying new brands, how I get introduced to new things. But all right, all right. All right, the next product is the Wonder Beauty Seascape Eyeshadow Palette. Inspired by turquoise waters and sea breeze, the six shade palette gives your lids a daydreamy wash of color. It values at $25. I've never really tried one. I mean, I've tried a few things from Wonder Beauty, but I haven't tried too much from their stuff. So I never tried their eyeshadow. So I'm curious to see how well this performs. Let's see these colors. Ooh, they're really pretty though. Look at these colors right here. Those are super pretty. Definitely can create some amazing looks with that. There's only seems to be one matte, and the rest are all shimmers. Well, I guess Coastal's matte too, but there's four shimmers, two mattes pretty much. This is exciting. I'm definitely excited to get this a try. All right, the next product, ooh, is from Ciate London, Extraordinary Translucent Powder. Couldn't come next time, I'm almost out of all my powders. It says, this ultra blendable translucent powder, formula driven in a Innovator, Ciate London is finely milled magic. It glides over makeup for a crease-free, soft focus finish and locks your looks in all day, which is truly extraordinary. This retails for $22, which is actually really kind of underwhelming price for setting powders. Usually I pay about $40 for my setting powders. So this is kind of inexpensive for what I'm used to. But let's look at the product right here. Okay, so you can definitely see how the powder is finely milled. Definitely she has a white base to that for sure, but it is just should blend in. Take my bling brush, tap it off. And let's just... She looks good. I'm definitely gonna wanna play around with this to see how well it holds up during the Florida heat because we have a lot of heat here and I really love certain setting powders that work really well. So I'm excited to keep playing around with this and see how well it does. But so far, that's actually not bad and I'm excited to give this a try. I love trying different setting powders. All right, so the last product in the box is gonna be from Ofra Cosmetics. This is the Ofra collaboration with Madison Miller Squad Palette. Multitaskers rejoice. This three-piece palette collab from Ofra Cosmetics and content creator Madison Miller in New Mama. It's about to go to that. It's all about that go-to glow. And it retails for thirty-five dollars. It's actually the most expensive thing in this box. I don't really have that many products from Ofra. Actually, the one product I have from Ofra is just the Nikki Tutorials Glaze Donut Highlighter. That's the only product I actually own from Ulta. Ulta. Ofra. All right. Well, one thing I'm noticing right here. This completely is off. Like you can see the glue right back there completely out of the pan. All right, let's see if I can just stick that back on in. Nope, she's not wanting to stick in. But these are the little highlighter and blush. They're cute. They're definitely cute for sure. I'll give this a try. Rose blushes aren't really my thing. Neither are rose highlighters, but the only thing I'm really not liking about this is like seriously, this is just gonna fall out, so that's not really impressive for me. And I don't really wanna say it's Ipsy's fault. I don't know whose fault this could be. Things happen, but there's that glue right there, completely dry. So I have to be very careful with this product, but I'm definitely gonna give it a try. So all right, all right. So the total retail of this box is $132. Really not that bad, especially since I only paid 25 bucks for it. Um, this box didn't excite me as much as the previous boxes have, but this is really cool to definitely give it a try. I got some brand new products in here, products I've never even heard about, never even seen before, so I'm excited to give those a try. And now let's move on to Boxylux. Now I always get really excited for Boxylux because I pay 50 bucks for it and they're supposed to get really amazing items in here. Now I'm kind of worried because I got that email that said I'm missing a product or I got something else in its place, but they're gonna reship me my new one. Oh, I don't really know. It's already making me kind of anxious and nervous. Like I literally told Corey yesterday when I got my emails, I was like, oh crap, now I'm nervous because I don't know what I'm getting. But let's go ahead and find out what we're getting in Boxylux this month. This big old box. I really loved my Boxylux last time. I had such a great time with that Boxylux. I got like a little hair dryer in there. So cute. I should link that video right up here for you guys. I really love that video. I had such a fun time in that video. Ooh, she a hefty box. This is called the All Access. 
All right. <sighs> I could already see something that I did not want. I think I know what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that website so I can see what the choice of it was. And we're gonna do that item last because I'm kind of already irritated that I saw it in there. Oh, oh great, I see everything in here that I didn't want. Okay, so let's dive into this box. Yay, I'm so excited. All right, so the first item that is in here is the Violet Voss Essential Pro Series Eyeshadow Palette. Now, you had a choice between the Violet Voss Essentials or the Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. I really wanted the Tarte Clay Face Shaping Palette. It is this bottom guy right here. I really wanted that one. That's the one I asked for, and instead they sent me this. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, this is the eyeshadow palette. It does not tickle my fancy at all. It's why I did not ask for this palette, did not care for it. <sighs> I've also, I've used Violet Voss's eyeshadow palettes before. I've never been a fan of them. I don't really care for the formula. I don't really care how it blends out. They just, they're not, it just doesn't make me excited and I've never really cared for Violet Voss. And now that I got this eyeshadow palette in here, I'm kind of like, great. Yay, and this eyeshadow palette retails for $29. That's a little excessive for this 10 pan eyeshadow palette. 10 pan eyeshadow palette. So I already know I'm doing this. I'm throwing this in a giveaway box because I know I'm never gonna use it. Why even bother trying to swatch it, touch it? I'm going to just let that one go. <laughs> the next product, oh, oh my God, is the Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Recovering Sleeping Max deeply hydrates and moisturizes to reduce redness and signs of irritation. This retails for $52 and I love Dr. Brandt. I've never tried Dr. Brandt before until BoxyCharm. I got their Pore, um, Pore No More like primer. I got their Pore Exfoliator. I got their Deep Clean Gentle Face Wash. I have a lot of Dr. Brandt products because of BoxyCharm. I love their products. They work so well for my skin. They really do help to contain the oil to really get rid of the excess dirt and buildup in my pores. And so I am so excited I got this. So I'm definitely gonna be giving this a try. Let's take a look at this. And it's a sleeping mask. Woo woo! That is so exciting. And it's gonna go right along with my um, clean one that they gave. Oh my God, this is still on my hand. What the hell? That is gonna be annoying at night. Um, this goes along with my clean, um, gentle face wash. Although that, that one's like um, kind of tan because I keep touching with my foundation hands when I'm washing my face and <laughs> it's kind of a dirty bottle now. Can best believe I'm gonna be using this nightly because it's catered to all skin types. So I'm so excited that I got this. All right, Boxy, you're starting to redeem yourself a little bit. The next product is the Pink and Henry Blickety Black Eyeliner. I think I'm saying that right. This retails for $20. I don't think I'm going to even bother opening this and trying this out. I do not do liners on my eye. I do liners on my waterline, but I do not do it on my top upper lid. I just have very big eyes and it just looks really funny on me. Trust me, it looks really funny. I'm not a big fan of this. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and throw this in a giveaway box as well because I know I'm never gonna get any use out of it. I never get any use with eyeliners that you wear on top. Just not my thing, but someone out there gets to enjoy this. The next product is the Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. The original powder pout. This retails for $22 and we got Patna Shimmer. Ooh, don't know, this is my color. All right, she's kind of like a pinky gold reflect color. This is the dome applicator. I don't know how well that fits, but Ooh, she smells good. All right, that's actually really not a bad color. It's like a pinky mauvey color. I could definitely get into this. Now it says it's supposed to dry down into a powdery matte finish. So I'm gonna let it dry down, see how it looks. This is something I might not wear by itself. I probably would put a gloss on top of it, but this is really pretty and I'm excited to give this a try. So, all right, Boxy, you're kind of doing like a hit and miss for me right now. All right, so the next product that I'm really excited that we got, I know this is a repeat item. I've seen it in other Boxy Luxes before. This is a repeat item, but I did not have this in my collection. It is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Palette. Now I saw this before. I've been seeing this since, oh wow, that's a really nice color like mirror in the back, nice. Now I've seen this in Sephora before, I played around with it, I just never wanted to invest my money in it because it is a $45 product, but I've always wanted to play around with this, it's so pretty, and this was originally in the other Boxy Luxes before, I think the first Boxy Luxe, this was actually in there, so I did do a repeat item. You had a choice between this, God that smells amazing, or the Spongel Mini, Mani Petty Treatment and Clean Skin Water Bottle Infusion, 
Infuser or Too Faced Natural Face Palette. So you had to pick between between all three of those products. I wanted the Park Princess because I've always wanted to give this a try. Smells amazing, smells like chocolate, how their products always tend to smell. I'm glad I got this. Retails for $45, so see, okay. We're starting to improve a little bit here, Box. You're starting to improve. All right, so the next product, I cannot believe I got this. Okay, this is the Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Eczema Water Cream, an advanced brightening and refining treatment fused to the next generation water cream. Tidal Brightening Eczema Water Cream delivers an intense water drench with two forms of hyaluronic acid and tamarind extracts so your skin looks useful, hydrated, and plumped. This retails for $65. Now when they asked me to pick out my items in Boxy Lux, it was between this or the Glow Recipe Pineapple like serum that they had there. When I went to go pick it out, um, I wanted to pick out this, but this was actually sold out, so I didn't have a choice. I had to go for the Glow Recipe Pineapple Formula. I didn't have a choice. This was sold out, but it's in here. Like, what? It's in here. This is so exciting. I really want to try this out. It looks so good. I do love Sun Sunday Riley products. She has such amazing products. Um, specifically, you know, for oily skin as well. She does cater to oily skin. It kind of smells like banana. Oh my God, I'm so excited to give this a try. I cannot believe this is in my box. I did not ask for this one. I wanted this one, but I did not ask for this one because of the fact that it was sold out. So I am so freaking excited. All right, Boxy, all right, all right. Now the next one that's in here that I definitely did not ask for. The Sultra Beauty 32 millimeter clipless curling eyeliner with a cooling tip. I didn't ask for this because I don't curl my hair. And the reason why I don't curl my hair is because I want to save my money for the beach waver where you literally just click it into your hair, press the button and it goes whoop. It's $120 and the second it's ready, it goes ding and you let it go and a perfect curl. This right here, you have to seriously take your hair and wrap it around it and hold it. I don't have the time or the patience for that, okay? It takes me 20 minutes to straighten my hair as it is. I have very, very, very thick hair. And I don't really like curling my hair unless someone does it for me. I had the curl secret, that was a joke. It made my hair all tingly and I couldn't stand it. And then, that's when I saw this, I didn't want this. It was between this or the Moda Makeup Brush Shut A-Piece Brush Kit. And I saw the brush kit and I was like, oh, I'd rather have the brush kit because I do a lot of makeup, do a lot of eye looks, I'd rather get it. This one, they sent me this. This clipless curling eyeliner is a perfect tool for beach waves, glam curls, soft or tight curls, or even ringlets. This retails for $65 and yeah, let's look at it. Since it's here, yeah, this is so annoying. You'd literally just take your hair and wrap it around it or wrap it around it. I don't wanna sit here and do this. I'd rather just clip it and go and bring it back up. You wanna know why? Because I'm lazy and I'd rather go the lazy route about it instead of having to sit here and really do the work. So this is probably gonna go in a giveaway box because it's never gonna be used. So, yay, thank you. <laughs> All right, the last product that's in this box is IGK Mistress Hydrating Balm, leave-in conditioning balm that won't weigh hair down and retails for $29. This does have coconut oil in it, and it says if you have dry, coarse, or frizzy hair, you want smooth, soft, soft hydrated hair, then you put this on. Um, I don't have dry, coarse, or frizzy hair. I mean, I have a little bit of frizzy hair, but I've heard nothing but good things about IGK, so I'm really excited to give this a try. It's a hydrating hair balm, and I do get my hair done every two months, so it doesn't get dry. Oh my God, that smells like, oh my God, it smells like I'm on a tropical island. It's that coconut oil, it smells like sunscreen. It smells like all the tourists at Walt Disney World. Oh my God, it smells so good. I did not realize I was doing that. Oh man. Does anyone else do that when they put too much product out, they try to put it back in the little <laughs> hole? Or is it just me? All right, so the items that I were post that I was, I was supposed to get was the brushes and the play clay shaping mask. So I didn't get two of the items that I originally had requested. They sent me something else instead. However, I did get the Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Eczema Cream Water. I'm really excited about that. Like seriously, you have no idea how much I'm excited about that. So it kind of makes up for me not getting what I wanted. Um, the total retail value of this box is $327. Now, just because this box has a better value than Ipsy does not always make it a better box. Now, if I had to really compare the two of the items that I got, now it's a little unfair because there's more items in this box. So this box already had an advantage over Ipsy to begin with. However, I was notified yesterday that I was gonna not be receiving the right items that I wanted, but the fact that I got 
the Sunday Riley Tidal Water Cream. Kind of over trumps me not getting the products that I wanted to begin with, so I'm kind of actually really happy about that. The fact that I got the Curling Iron and the Violet Voss, like whatever, those are just going to a giveaway. Not that big of a loss for me. And they're supposedly sending what I'm supposed to get in the next box. Yeah, right, I'm not gonna hold my breath on that. It's Boxy Charm. They don't always do what they say they're gonna do. Um, so I would say between the two boxes this month, I am more excited about Boxy Charm. I definitely say Boxy Charm won this month. Granted, it has a little bit of an unfair advantage, but I would definitely say this is a better box than my Ipsy was. Ipsy has some cool things in there, but they have brands that I've never heard of before. Granted, it gets me introduced to newer brands, but I'm definitely more excited about the Box of Charms. So this is this month's winner to me. Let me know in the comments below which one you prefer better. Did you prefer the Boxy Luxe, the Boxy, um, the Boxy Luxe, or the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus? Like, what did you prefer better? Also, I know that you guys get Boxy Charms, so let me know what you guys got just in your standard Boxy Charm box. If you didn't get Boxy Luxe, let me know what you got so you guys can really compare to what I got for my Ipsy because I feel like that's the easiest comparison it was between those two boxes not necessarily between the boxy locks but I had to get boxy locks so that is it for today's video guys please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already because I do post three videos a week also make sure you guys head on over to my other channel it's our Florida life you can see my cool wonderful adventures with my amazing fiance Corey and as always guys I want to thank you guys for all your love and support I'll see you guys in the very next video bye so we're now competing versus. What do you were doing? <laughs> now, Boxy Lux does have a little bit of advantage over. Of, oh my god, I'm talking so fast. I don't know where to start. Uh, now this little uh, no, value. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm already messing up. We hope that you love your Boxy September box. We hope I do want to give a quick shout out though. Oh, I'm blurry. It's to that way to uh, I could do smaller giveaways like you know. Okay. They have the you know battle like they'll fight and it's like that music you know do 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 do. Mercury's not in record date record. Good. These beloved Brit Porveers. Why do they put such complicated names in these products? Contains lips for creamy application. How does that even make sense? That is now <laughs> boxy charm. I think. Oh my god.